Hey everybody, it's Christina from Creations with Christina and welcome back to another video. Uh, my last video I was playing with my mink machine in my last two videos. In the last one I showed you how I did this Project Life card, which I will link up above if you guys want to go and check it out. That was with the foil in the um, deco foil in the mink machine. So today I wanted to play with the Fuse, this is the photo sleeve tool that you can use with Project Life. There's one by We Are Memory Keepers and this is the Becky Higgins one. Um, both of them are the same. The same. I didn't. Uh, the only reason why I got a different one is because, uh, or the Becky Higgins one versus the We Are Memory Keepers is because this one I was able to get locally. Only downside I'm seeing with this so far is this stand stinks. It keeps falling over. And from what I understand, it's the same way with the We Are Memory Keepers one as well. Um, so I wanted to show you how to use this. I'm working on my Project Life album for the summer. I I decided to do, I haven't really done anything Project Life related for this year, but I thought I would do one just for the summer for all of our summer activities and, and stuff like that. So, so I'm going to do a 6x8 album. I'm using this uh, Project Life album right here. It's a 6x8. And then I have some 6x8 photo sleeves. This one's Design 3. It has two 3x4s and one 4x6. And I already went ahead and created kind of a little shaker section on this card using the photo sleeve uh, fuser. And I wanted to show you how to do that. So what I'm going to do for my bottom pocket, since this is my title card for my album, is I took a 4x6 pattern paper. I just picked two pieces of pattern paper and cut them at a diagonal. Now one of them, um, for this yellow stripe, what I want to do is that on the back side of my um, sleeve here, I want to have this pattern so that the front side is going to have, so I'm going to put that down, and then the front side is going to have this pattern along with this pattern on the bottom. So that when I turn my page over, so I had to kind of think about what was going to be on the back side of my title page here. So what I'm going to do first is I already went ahead and cut these at the diagonal. I'm going to go ahead and tape these together just so I know that they're not going to slide around when I'm trying to do my sleeve here, and I'm really not... Um, you know, don't need a lot of adhesive. I just want to make sure it's stuck together. So this is the one I'm going to put actually down in the bottom corner. So I'm just going to slip this right in here, just like so. And then I'm going to actually use my mat here, my cutting mat, to seal or give myself a line for sealing. So this is the ruler that comes with the fuse. Both the, the We Are Memory Keepers and this one come with the, the ruler. And this is the guide for your fuser, which I already have heated up. I have mine on the seal tip on there. There's one also for cutting. So if you wanted to cut a, um, a section in your album, you can do that as well. So I'm just going to line this up. The hardest part is getting this in place because it does have the little sticky um, dots on the back to hold it down. But my, my, mine just keeps slipping all over the place here. So what I'm doing is I'm just lining up my where I want to seal on my grid mat. Now I will tell you, I already started to do this. I discovered that if the harder you push on this, it's not going to turn as easy. So the, this little part up in the top here, which is extremely hot, doesn't turn if you push too hard. So you want to go very light and slow because if you go too fast, it's not going to catch all of the parts that need to be sealed. So I am just going to go ahead and seal up the rest of my pocket here. And there we go. So it did take me a couple minutes to figure out, because this is only the second time I've used it, to figure out that you need to go slow and you don't want to push too heavy. But I was able to create this little pocket here that hold in my bottom piece. And then I can add my next piece, which will probably be, need to be trimmed. Oh, nope, it doesn't need to be trimmed. So it creates a cool, really cool dimension to the front of your card, or the front of your photo sleeves here. And then I also have my little sun that I did the foil technique with in my last video. That's going to go right in the center. And then I'm going to put a little 2015 here. Um, maybe I'll go over this way. And a little 2015 here for the summer. So it'll be summer 2015. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, only my second time using this. I really like it. Just the trick is go light pressure and go slow. And you'll be able to seal everything up pretty fast. 
And then there's also um, the, the cutting tip, which I won't show in this video because I have to wait for this completely cool down to take that tip off to add the cutting tip, but it pretty much works the same way. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. And if I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I'll also leave a link to all of these products that I used in today's video down below in the YouTube description. Thanks everybody for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.